Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to connect HTML form with MySQL database using JSP. First, you need to install Eclipse ID, Tomcat server, and MySQL database. Okay, let's start. File, new, dynamic web project, name whatever you want. JSP, I am writing here. After creating, we need to create a HTML form first. Here, right click on web content, click on new, and after that, others. Here, you search HTML, HTML file, click on here, name whatever you want, index.html. I just written here. Now, uh, just delete all this. We are creating a form here. So there should be some action performed. So we are action here yeah. method method. So we are setting method as post and uh, we are marking as index at the end. Okay. Now first we have paid. Label for F name name input type type. Just we are taking name, so it should be in text. Name should be also we are taking name as name. Place folder don't use that. Uh, we are breaking the line. Okay. After that, level level for name. Okay. Here we are taking mobile number. Mobile number. Input type it should be number because we are taking mobile number, number name mobile number clicking we are level. For after mobile number, we are taking email input type email name email. Also breaking here. Now, last one is we are taking F name password. Okay. Sorry. Input type. Password name we are taking as pass password. Okay, we have also need a submit button. So input type submit name we can see the value submit okay here you can see that our HTML form has been created 
now we have to write code for the JSP. Okay. Now we are creating a new page. Others. Here you need to search JSP. Content. I am naming as index. Index action. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, before we are going to code on a JSP page, we need My, uh, MySQL driver. So just go to the Google and just search for MySQL uh, connection driver and download. And after download, I already downloaded. So I'm just like going to drag and drop here in library of web content so that we I can use in it. Okay, link. Or you can copy this file here this one is the first way and you can also connect uh, your uh, uh, jar file in this way just right click on properties on JSP uh, project name and uh, go to the Java build path here you can add add external JR and jar and you directly click on it there are different ways you can do it now it's time to write the codes in JSP backend so can you can store the data but before writing this code we need to create a table in MySQL database okay uh, okay let's see what I'm doing uh, I already created a database so I'm directly going to use that and here I'm going to create a create table so create table um, just name as user here we are creating name backend and it mobile number Backend ten email backend we are taking hundred last one is password backend fifty okay. You can see I just created a table whose name is user. Okay, now our, our table is created. Now we have to code on this JSP page. Uh, first, uh, we having a database whose name is project, and uh, it contains a table. That one is user. Okay, let's delete all this. First, we need to import here. H port Java dot SQL dot strike. Okay, after importing this, we have to write Take the string check name string name request dot get parameter. Here we have to write the name of this one name, then it's take name. Okay. In same way, we are also going to name while number while number after mobile number, the next one is 
email mail it is not compulsory the uh, compulsory that uh, name should be same you can change this variable name okay after email last one is password 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 after this we have to write try catch because it's Whenever we are writing code of SQL, it, it is maybe possible to generate any errors. That's why we are using try catch. Okay. Now we have to write first, we have to load the driver here. Yeah. Okay. MySQL having form dot MySQL dot JDBC dot driver. After this, we have to create connection. Connection is a interface driver manager dot get connection get connection. Here first we need to write URL. Okay. After that, yeah, uh, let me show you uh, local host host three three zero six is default port of MySQL. Here we have to write uh, this one is the database name. Here uh, you can change according to your database name. Now we have to write the password of our uh, username of database. After that, uh, sorry, we have to write the username of MySQL. Okay, that was default is root, and here we have to write the password of mysql okay now our connection is completed now we have to create a statement statement state go to con we are getting the connection creating a statement here yeah. now we have to write st dot execute update okay because we are changing something in uh, our database that's why i'm using here execute update if we are uh, we have to select anything then we use execute query here okay so insert into user here you can write here you have to write name mobile Number, email, pa password, okay, values, name, mobile, number. Going to write out dot out dot print and then okay our code is completed oh sorry I just put here semicolon I don't write I don't need to write here semicolon okay now we move to index to run here we have to write index action dot gsp Okay, now we creating two HTML files. Here we having two 
where I'm going to show you is there any error occur then it moves to the different pages if data inserted then it shows thanks if data in, no, are not able to insert due to some regions then it shows some error occur so save updated okay and the next one is html either remote or h1 either now here we are writing response 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 dot redirect sorry send redirect then we have to write c save save HTML and here we are writing response here we are writing error if something went wrong then it moves to this page if all okay then it moves to the save page now, now it's time to run the project uh, run run on server you need to configure tomcat server i'm using tomcat 8.0 okay let's see it will take two seconds Yeah, just writing my name, Gaurav Kumar, oil number, seven, email address, Gaurav, at the rate, gmail.com, password, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. When we click on submit button, it moves to the index action.jsp page. And I just click on it. Here, here you can see that successfully updated. Okay, let's see our data inserted or not. Select extra from user. Here you can see that. Suppose something went wrong and we again want to insert some data, like uh, we put here something error here names. Okay. Now again, we are starting the project here, then on server, okay, write name Gaurav 7, Gaurav, great, gmail.com, password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay. When we click on submit button, you can see error occur. So if uh, it's successfully updated, then it moves to the save page. Otherwise, it otherwise it moves to the error dot html page. So we just remove that error. Okay. Uh, so in this way, you can connect HTML form with MySQL database using JSP. In this way, you can insert your data into MySQL database. I hope. You guys like the, uh, like this video so please hit like and subscribe button and thanks for watching